As soon as the samples are received, we follow a stringent process of checking the conditions in which the samples have been received and it is catalogued accordingly. Following this, an acknowledgement is sent to the clients. When DNA is the starting material, the first step is the quality check or QC. Quality checks are critical throughout the library preparation and sequencing process, involving multiple checks at various points of the workflow. The first check which will be done is the genomic DNA QC. Here the DNA is subjected to both a gel check as well as a concentration check. Once the genomic DNA has passed our quality checks, the first step in library preparation is the amplification of the 16S gene. For targeted metagenome using MySeq, we amplify the V3-V4 region of the 16S gene. The approximate length varies between 450 to 500 base pairs in length. Amplification is carried out using our in-house customized primers optimized for subsequential steps. The generalized workflow for the initial step in library preparation is as follows. DNA, primers and nuclease-free water are added in equivalent amount to 2x high fidelity hot start master mix. Amplification is performed in a thermal cycler. Now that the amplification is carried out, we come to our second quality check stage. The PCR amplified products are subjected to a gel QC. One mu liter of the amplified product is loaded into a 2% gel along with a 50 or 100 base pair ladder. Samples having passed the gel quality check are taken forward for magnetic purification. Here we utilize magnetic beads from the Ampure XP. An equal volume of magnetic beads are added to the PCR product and mixed thoroughly. After a 10 minute incubation at room temperature, the tubes or plate is kept on a magnetic rack. The solution will clear within 5 minutes on the rack. The supernatant is discarded. Two washes are performed and the beads are air dried for no more than 3 minutes. Finally, the desired volume of elution buffer is added to the beads, mixed thoroughly and incubated at a room temperature for 5 minutes. This is then placed again on the magnetic rack and the supernatant is transferred to a new tube. After magnetic purification, the PCR product is subjected to another round of gel QC and concentration check. The concentration check is done using qubit. Once the quality check has passed our criteria, barcoding is carried out with another set of PCR reactions. Barcoding PCR is the process of incorporation of eight unique base pair indices to the enriched amplicons. Once the barcoding PCR is completed, another round of QC is done similar to the one performed after the first PCR amplification.
After the stages of purification and QC for the barcoding PCR product, the library is deemed ready of that particular sample. We then perform individual bioanalyzer profiling for each sample. The brief steps involved are priming of the DNA chip, loading of libraries into the DNA chip, running it on the bioanalyzer. Once the libraries for a particular run is prepared and quality checked, we proceed to the final step before sequencing. Individual libraries are pulled together at a concentration of 10 nanomole per microliter. The final library is again subjected to a final bioanalyzer check. The MySeq V3 600 cycle kit and flow cell from Illumina is used. It consists of two parts. The first part contains the flow cell and the buffer which is stored at 4 degrees. The second part consists of reagents required to perform the sequencing run and stored at minus 80 degrees. The pool library is diluted to 4 nanomole and the concentration is further reduced to a final loading concentration of 10 picomole. This is loaded into the designated place of the reagent kit. The kit and the flow cell are loaded into the MySeq and the run is started. <laughs> 